Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video, Sean's name and credits the game today. Clearly my videos on credit on here have been doing extremely well so I figured let's keep the ball rolling with another credit video. This one on how to get easy points immediately. Because if you've seen some of my other credit videos, you'll know that if you've got some pretty gnarly things on your credit report, it can take a good amount of time before your scores actually improve. However, since I'm a mortgage lender in Arizona and now Texas, I see tons of credit reports every single day. And when I'm seeing so many credit reports, I started learning how to actually get some easy points here and there because Reaching a different threshold in terms of credit score can change your outcome tremendously. One, it can get you a far better interest rate on a home loan or a car loan or any type of loan that you have. And two, it could just get you up to the qualifying range to actually buy a house. So a few points here and there can make a world of a difference. So I guess you could say I've been around the block when it comes to credit scores and getting some easy points here and there as soon as possible. So I figured let's put everything that I kind of use and all my strategies for some easy points here and there into one video to bring to you. Okay, so the first thing you need to know about uh, the information I'm gonna be talking about in this video is the fact that this is just kind of a quick fix or a hot fix to getting your scores up for a period of you know 30 to 60 to 90 days or something. This isn't a full overhaul of your credit. So you really only wanna use these strategies when you are about to either buy a car or you're trying to qualify for a mortgage. They're just something that can boost your score quickly, but not necessarily repair or fix your score indefinitely. But with that being said, if you do want some serious strategies and some tips on increasing your credit score far more than just some quick fixes or to increase it permanently, you should definitely check out some of the other videos I've made on here about credit, especially this one, because this one will really talk to you about how you can actually increase your credit scores for the better and not necessarily just increase it, but to actually fix your credit. But jumping back into the topic of this video, even though these strategies are just kind of a quick fix or a hot fix to your credit, uh, it doesn't mean they can't make some big moves. Depending on your credit profile, I've gotten some clients up over 100 points with these strategies. So again, while it is a quick fix, depending on your credit profile, it could do some pretty gnarly things. But okay, let's get into the more well-known strategies as we start this list out. And then as we get into some of the other ones, We'll get into the, you know, I guess more of the well-kept secrets of the credit industry that I'm kind of excited to tell you about today. But the first thing I have talked about this strategy in numerous videos of mine in the past, uh, it's a, again, a more well-known strategy. It's getting added as an authorized user on someone else's credit card. So if you know a family member, a friend, some random dude down the street, anyone who's got really great credit, you can go to them and ask them to add you as an authorized user on a specific credit card and again, it's gonna boost your scores tremendously. And this is what it looks like. Hey dude, do you have good credit? Yeah. You think you can add me as an authorized user on one of your credit cards? I don't like need a physical card or need to do anything with it. I just wanna be added to that card. Why? Because you're the man. I mean, you've got such great credit, you've got great credit history. And once you add me as an authorized user on this card, the credit bureaus then think that your credit is my credit and it'll boost my credit scores tremendously. Okay, okay, but is it then going to hurt my score because now the credit bureaus think that your credit profile is my credit profile? Hell no, the credit bureaus are only pulling data from that specific card. So if I don't spend any money on that card or don't even have a card to spend money on, then there's nothing negative to report to the credit bureaus. So it's a win-win, boom, simple. Problem is most people either don't know someone with great credit or they don't know how to specifically ask someone to do this or they don't feel comfortable asking someone to add them as an authorized user. But if you need some massive credit score improvements, this is what you need to do. Getting added as an authorized user can boost your score 100 points overnight. In fact, I've had numerous clients do this in the past and the results have been absolutely mind blowing. For instance, there was this one guy who went from a 584 to a 748 overnight. So do that. But number two on our list is something that should be common knowledge, but it still blows my mind how many people don't know this. And it's 
Credit card utilization. If you want your scores to raise incredibly high or well overnight, then you're gonna need to pay down those MF in credit cards as soon as possible. One of the biggest factors that makes up your entire credit profile and ultimately your credit score is how much money you owe and how effectively are you utilizing your lines of credit. Oh, and if you don't know what makes up your credit score, you should definitely watch this video because that video I break down the five things that are the most important factors in determining your credit score. If you don't know those five factors, how can you make sure you're staying on track to improve your credit score? But with credit card utilization, it's incredibly important. So if you have a credit card limit of $1,000 and you currently owe $950 on that card, your credit score is gonna be hurt tremendously. So the way to fix that is you gotta pay that sucker down. Get it down to a 30% utilization rate and that's gonna raise your score overnight, okay? If you go from a $1,000 card limit and you have a $950 balance, if you bring that balance all the way down to $300 or less, now the credit bureaus go, oh, they can spend a thousand, but they're only spending 300. That's gonna improve your score a ton. And when I say a ton, I usually see credit score improvements of anywhere from 10 to 20 points per card overnight. So if you've got three cards, you're potentially looking at 60 points of credit score improvement, again, overnight. So imagine if you got added as an authorized user and you pay down your credit card balances all in one day, your scores are going to the moon. But then to add the cherry on top of this credit score improvement cake, I recently found this new trick that I absolutely love and it typically gets my clients anywhere from three to seven points overnight. Super cool, I don't ever see anyone doing this and it's something called opt-out pre-screen. It's super simple, basically you just go to optoutprescreen.com, click the button to opt out then select electronic or permanent, doesn't really matter. And then you fill in your info and pretty much just hit confirm. And here's what it does, okay? It basically tells the credit bureaus and the credit card companies that you no longer want to receive new credit card offers or lines of credit offers. Basically, you're showing everyone that, hey, I don't need any more lines of credit. I'm financially stable. I don't need those things. And you're saying, I don't want those things. Now the credit bureaus see that as, oh wow, this person is showing you know, that they've got some financial responsibility. They don't want these all these other offers and temptations. So they see that and they go, hey, you know, pat on the back. We're gonna give you a couple of free points right there because you're showing some financial responsibility. And it might only be a few points, you know, just a couple points here and there. But again, a couple points here and there can make the world of a difference. Like real quick, it made a huge difference for my client, Joe. It was a pretty incredible story, but he did basically what I told him to do, which included opt-out pre-screen, got his scores up just a little bit, got him into the qualifying range, and now he's ultimately not homeless because he was in a very challenging spot where he was gonna be homeless. Guess what? Those few points got him into a home and ultimately saved the entire situation. So you never know how much a few points can actually do. Because again, when it comes to credit, every point counts. So if you do these three things, you will see some major credit score improvement, okay? Become an authorized user on someone else's credit card where they've got great scores, okay? Secondly, you wanna make sure your credit card balances are paid down, and then thirdly, take advantage of opt-out pre-screen. If you do all three of those in a single day, I promise you, your credit score is going to go up incredibly high. But again, I'm just preferencing, these are just hot fixes to getting your scores up when you're in a bind. If you've got a lot more challenging items on your credit profile, we're talking bankruptcies, foreclosures, collections, all that jazz, late payments, inquiries, all those things, that's really gonna hinder your credit score and your credit profile as a whole. So you need to get those taken care of. But again, a few points, these three, three strategies will work really well. Again, if you want some help on taking care of that big beast of all those other things that could be on your credit report, then again, check out the videos I leave linked down below. It is going to help you a ton. Good credit is king to a financial well-being. But that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you can hit that like button. Also, drop me a comment down below of which items were new to you or that you learned. Usually when I make a credit video, the comment section gets filled with all these bots trying to sell credit repair. So it's nice seeing real people down there. But again, I hopefully you learned something new. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button as well. Stick around. You know, I'm always dropping good content like this to hopefully put you one step ahead of the next. But uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one.